AT Artworks, my channel, my first video. And uh, I got a couple of uh, new sets of oil pastels. I got them off Amazon. They're both Paul Rubens. This is the Sea Scenery Colors and Landscape Colors 72 set. And I also got the 48 Color Haya, which is a, a, a new product from them, I think. Anyway, I apologize for having to hold the camera and uh, the lighting's not the best. My art desk, which has good lighting, is uh, occupied at the moment. I can't move what's over there. And I just wanted to do an unboxing, but I didn't bother with making you all watch me cut open a box and cut off the cellophane and things like that. So I've already taken them out. This is the first time I've looked at them. So uh, let's have a look. Okay, we'll start with the uh, 72 set of seascapes. It says seascapes, but in the ad it also said landscapes. I'm going to take the top off here, set it aside. Oh, it's got the little catalog. You know, that's just a, it's a catalog is all it is. I'll look at that later. Good piece of foam. And there they are. Yeah, very nice. Try to show them all to you. And uh, let's look at uh, this yellow one right here. Try to get it out without gouging. Oh, it's soft. That's very soft, very creamy. Maybe I can get it to focus. Feel softer, experience nicer. They do appear to have, there's a lot of, these are made in China. But China these days, contrary, contrary to popular belief, uh, they're producing a lot of, it's gone out of focus, I apologize for that. But uh, they're producing a lot of, of good products these days in, in certain areas, uh, competing. For, sorry for my finger there. Eventually I'm gonna get set up better so I can make a few videos now and then. I probably won't be a big producer Anyway, um, I'll make some swatches on this eventually. I don't usually do swatches, but since these are easy to make swatches and there's so many and they're all new to me, uh, I'll probably do that. Now let's look at the other set. Okay, here's the 48 colors of Haya, Paul Rubens. And these are supposed to be like it's a new product for them. It's supposed to be the, the reviews online, they're comparing them to Sennelier in terms of softness and, and pigmentation. Take the, the top off. Well, it's got another catalog and a nice swatch seat. Look at that. You can make swatches without having to write everything up. Hmm. They don't have the colors on them. They got a number. So I'll have to deal with that later. Take the foam off. Ooh. There's the 48 set. White and black is up in the upper right corner. Very nice looking. Let's pull one out. Let's pull one of these greens out. Uh -huh. See if I can get it to focus for you. As I said, I apologize. I had to hold the camera. Anyway, um, this is, it's got the, and it, I can see it myself around the camera. It does have the name on it, but it's very small. The name of the color. Um, but on the, on the, I noticed on the back underside here of the box, it's got all the colors laid out and it's easier to read. So that should be your guide. These are sort of translucent wrappers. So, uh, that's something maybe they should work on to make the, the, the writing a little easier to read. But as you can see, look at there, it's, it's, I don't know if you can see that, but it's already very soft. I could feel them. And, uh, they do feel like Sinelli's at least to the touch. So I'll make some swatches out of these, uh, use that swatch seat, and see how it looks. A few minutes to do the swatches. The nice thing about it is they're all in the same order on the swatch card as they are here. Starting down here with the white and going up. It starts here with the white and goes up. So in the, the black is up here and it's the last one on the swatch. 
I, I wrote the colors. The colors, the, the, the labeling on these things, uh, it's very hard to see. But you can see the colors are very, it's creamy, it's buttery, it's smooth as silk. My word, I'm getting hungry just describing it. But it's really, uh, really richly pigmented. I think these are going to be very nice to work with. Um, I couldn't find any, any, uh, um, any information on the labels over here. Uh, concerning light fastness, but I've seen other, you know, sources of the, where the Ru Paul Rubens lines are supposed to be light fast. I can't imagine these wouldn't be if the others are, if the other sets that I've seen are. So I, I don't know. Um, maybe they're on those labels there somewhere, but they're very hard, very hard to read. They're in micro print. Uh, I'd have to get my magnifying glass out uh, to really read some of the fine stuff. So fortunately, again, on the back of this, if you flip it over, um, you'll see basically this. Okay, you'll, you'll see the colors and the numbers and the names of the colors in that order. So that's, that's very helpful. That should be your guide.